start our new task. Yes, this is real profile from a real viewer who asked us to review it and help them out. Uh, and we'll be doing this once a week. And send us, send me a message via the YouTube channel uh, with a link to your profile if you want us to do it. Now, first guy, we'll call him Viper. You'll know who you are from that. It's part of your username. What can we tell him first? Shittiest photo of all the photos you have up on your profile. Yeah, you have a bunch of photos up and your main one is honestly the least flattering of the bunch. Mm. Um, the wacky smile thing, kind of an axe murderer vibe going on. Yeah, yeah. I, I know what you're doing with it because you've explained that, that you're proud of, of, of your teeth in this one, but um, dude... <laughs> Seriously, there's much more attractive photos on your Yeah, on your you've mentioned great sense of humour, which is good. You're being funny, but people are shallow, honestly. You've got way better photos. Put one of the better ones as This is the first, first impact mm. photo. So this one is the one that's going to make them go yay or no immediately. So give yourself your best chance. And this is something we're going to repeat over and over again during these, is don't eliminate people straight away if you can help it. I thought I might try something different. Were you I, warned against that? Yeah. Now, yeah. what he's done is his different thing is to ask one of his friends to write the review for him. Not different. Been done a thousand times. Hmm. And it, Okay, it's female. And besides your female friend writing a profile of you and having photos with your other female friends, I get the vibe you're going for, I'm female friendly. I know some girls. <clears throat> Honest, look. <laughs> My experience in the dating world, women don't want to know about other women. Not straight away. Mm. Um, we all understand you're going to know other women, but to mention three other women in your profile, yeah. uh, A sounds a bit A, desperate, and B, uh, like the girls might be competing against these women, and yeah. why aren't you dating one of these women? What's you know? It just creates questions. Um, now, what, what your girlfriend has written tells us a lot more about her than it does about you. Um, she really likes people that listen to all her problems and uh, she really likes people that will not judge her and she really likes people who just put up with everything about her and not criticise her faults. And good on you for being that friend, yeah. but maybe try and reword it in the first person. Because, yeah, it, it's people are shallow, essentially. If you give people a reason to object, like, too much about other women, they're going to notice that. Yeah, and as I say, that... What she's written to me talks to me so much about who she is and not much about it and, and about your relationship with her, not about you as a person. Um, so unless I'm like her and need somebody who's very supportive and not judgmental, I'm not going to be interested. And then you put, apparently I'm also fantastic in the sack. We're not on that old matchmaker for this one, by the way. Yeah, and also the I don't think this personally, but dude, don't... If you're going to bring it up, don't then undercut it. You've just said, I suck in bed. You know, I'm a crap root. No, dude, don't go there. Um, uh, yeah, I don't think this is personally, but I swear to God, it's what someone said. Well, if you've only had one decent review, mate. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, honestly, there is so much positive about you in this. Put a better photo up and make it about you, not about someone, mm -hmm. not about your female friends. Yeah. Make it about you. Yeah, and look, everyone is good in the sack with the right person and crap with the wrong one. So just because someone once said, just forget about that. You don't yeah. don't need to be took. Go on Adult Matchmaker if you want to talk about your sex life and then you can talk about how big your dick is, how thick it is, um, what you like to do and that you'd like to learn to be better in the sack because only one person said you're good. <laughs> you know, you've talked about your interests and you've said you like cats and dogs but you don't actually tell us whether you've got pets or um, if you do, how about a photo of them, how about talk about them. That's something that makes you a bit more real, a bit more human. Also like martial arts, although I don't currently train. Again, you don't need to mention this. You've mentioned it in your interest that you like martial arts, but if you're not currently training, are you getting a bit flabby at the moment? <laughs> it, 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 this is the thing. You, what you put down, people draw conclusions from. Mm. Uh, so think really hard about what you write yeah, down. Don't put negative things in or non-things in. By putting that in, it's become a non-thing, a negative thing. Um, you put it in your interest that you like martial arts, that's great, leave it at that because then I'm going to assume that you're fit and healthy and you've got good stamina in the bedroom. So in short, there's a lot of good things about you, but focus on that. Focus on you. Um, take Seriously, take out the photos of your female friends. Mm. 
uh, and the references to your female friend and just make it about you and use a better one of your photos on because seriously there's a lot going for you in this so don't sell yourself short. Uh, you've mentioned oh but one thing I'm not looking for is a smoker sorry now I don't know whether your the site that you're on has that as an option or not but um, again it's a negative um, sure it's good to mention if you really hate it but for it to be the last thing you've kind of written there I wouldn't do that I mean you've got in your smoking habits that you never smoke so just leave it at that okay I sat what what I'm looking for okay I sat here for 30 minutes and all I could come up with was nice 30 minutes and that's all you could come up with I wouldn't let everyone know again take out the negatives only put in the positives yeah you, again you're just selling yourself short so there's always someone who'll say something negative about you. You say good things about yourself. Yeah. Um, so go and look at somebody else's profiles and find out what they've said they're looking for mm. and, and find something that, that matches what you're looking for. Or take more than 30 minutes. What are you looking for? Write yeah. it down and then go back to the computer and update your profile. Yeah. Because you are looking for something and you do know what you want. And maybe in it you can say, I'm looking for a woman who's this, this and this and a non-smoker. You know, put it into that. Mm. So, yeah. So that's what I do. I just go back and do a little bit more rewriting on that one. And you'll have a perfectly good profile. And you'll get plenty of dates. Good yeah. luck, Viper.